welcome back to another video. So uh, today I'm going to be halter training Valinor and his half-brother Raphael. Valinor is a purebred Arabian colt. He's 11 months old. And right now he's just checking out the camera because he's never seen it before. I have been working on just him tying and grooming so far. I have not really worked on a lot of uh, backing. He really gets into his grooming session. He absolutely loves them. Right now he's still learning the concept of tying, so he gets a little impatient every now and then. Now I'm going to be taking him out of the stall and grabbing um, the driving whip that has a uh, just a little plastic bag on the end. It's not even a bag, it's, it's a piece of a bedding bag that was attached to it. I always like to close the stall doors. This is his first time being introduced to um, being led around with the whip with the bed, the, what should I call it, plastic bag bedding thing. The plastic. It's a plastic piece. So now I'm just working on um, woe and back up. So I've never asked him to back up before, and so I just lift up the whip a bit and he backs right up. And then I just have him relax and tell him he's a good boy. He's licking and chewing, so he's thinking. So now we take off and walk again. And he's really, really interested in that plastic bag. So again, I ask for the backup, I raise my hand, and eventually when you ask for the backup, all you'll ever have to use are your hands. So whenever you raise your hand, he backs up and lifts his head. So that was a very nice backup. Didn't really have to ask a lot. And I tell him he's a good boy and he's still really interested in that piece of plastic. And there we go again. This time he's kind of wanting to run away, but I, as soon as he backs up pretty straight, I take away the pressure and tell him he's a good boy because it's important not to scare these babies too much. Then I'm asking for him to give his four quarters a bit and a turn. Doesn't really do it very well, but pretty decent. And I asked for a whoa, and he didn't really stop at the right time, so I put my hand in front kind of as a block, and then he stops. And that was a pretty good whoa. And then now I asked for the backup again, I raised my hand, and then just kind of shake the bag. Piece of plastic, it's not even a bag. Then I tell him he's a good boy because has a very nice back. And then we walk off again. And now he's paying a bit more attention to me, not the bag, but you can still see his ears turned towards it. And that was a very nice whoa. And now he wants to take a little nibble out of the whip. <laughs> and there he's starting to think it's a game, so he's like, oh, I like this game. Let's we go back and then you tell me I'm a good boy. And now I'm asking him to come forward. I've never done this before, but he's pretty good. Raise my hand, say whoa. That was very beautiful. And I tell him he's a good boy. And that's it for that session. And then I just put it away and he really wanted to see it. So he he's like, where'd it go? And he's like, oh, there it is. What are we gonna do? So he's never been in the wash stall before and I've never ever tried to take him in. But then I guess he's feeling very brave today. So he wants to go in. And I'm like, well, you wanna go in further? It's like, okay. He, he takes a little nibble out of the knobs and then I take him over to Cyrus's blanket 
and wants to nibble on that a bit. <laughs> he was a very good boy that day. And I just take him out and you want to always keep the session very short with babies. This is not the only time they get out of their stalls. They always get out every day for a good half day of being outside in their paddock. They go in during at night or during bad weather. So that's Valinor. He was a really good boy. So here's Raphael, he's Valinor's half-brother. He is 10 months old and he it was a lot easier to halter train than Valinor mostly just because he's got a very easygoing temperament and he doesn't mind the camera at all. So I take him out of his stall after I groom him a bit and I close the stall door. So, you know, just closing it's a habit. And then I go over and grab the whip and first time being introduced to it, he's totally fixated on the whip, not really paying attention to me. And then I just wanted him to say hi to his brother because it's fun. <laughs> and I start walking him around just to get him on his mind on me and then do a few stops and he's like, what is that? So then I take him around, do some more walking and stops, and he's really, really interested in that. Then I take it in a different spot and he's still looking at it. <laughs> Valinor really wants to get it again. He's really like, I want it. Rafa is still unsure of what to do, but He's gonna keep doing it. And then I ask for a woe, and he is a little bit better woe. So I say, good boy. And Ra Valinor really wants to go out. <laughs> and then I I accidentally hit the wheelbarrow with the plastic bag and it made a noise. So that was a little weird. And I ask for a woe. And then that he's doing pretty good. I raised my hand and asked for the backup. He wasn't really paying attention. He forgot where the plastic bag was, so it wasn't a good backup, but it was his first backup. It's pretty good. So now he's getting a little frightened of it. So here you'll kind of see him. He's, he wants to turn and run away, but I keep his face facing me so he can't turn and run away. And then once he stops, after when I ask him to whoa, I give him a good boy pat. And then we start walking again. Asked for the woe, and that was a very nice woe. Then I raised my hand again and asked for the backup. He has, he's not quite getting the cue. So I ask him again, and again he wants to just turn and go away but you wanna keep them relaxed and not too frightened when you're working with the babies. And in a different part of the barn, I start to ask for a backup and it was a lot better. He really started to, started to move his feet And then I asked for another backup, and it wasn't very good. He's kind of getting used to what I'm doing, so he's like, well, what do I have to? I say, yes, you have to. And now as he gave his feet a little bit, and then I asked him to go forward, and he loves to go forward. He can follow me all day, but he doesn't really like to give his space. So now I'm just going to start walking around again. He 
He's very interested in the plastic bag. Here I asked for the backup. They really didn't give me anything, so I grab his halter and push a little bit. And I make a different kind of noise with the plastic bag by hitting it on the ground, and that got, gave me a good reaction. So every now and then you have to, especially with a bit more friendly baby, you have to uh, use different tactics for getting them to move their feet or just different training in general. Then that was a pretty good backup for him and a good woe and everything. He was a very good boy. And he loves to give kisses and loves scratches. And then I just put the whip away and he's not a very I mean, he is curious, but he's not as curious as Valinor, so he won't go into a place if he doesn't have to. So here I just ask him to come in, and he's like, well, okay. But he's never been in the wash stall before, and uh, this is his first time. And he doesn't really want to touch anything, but he's like, well, if you say so, I'll go in. So right now he's got his two feet in, and I like to have all four feet in before I turn around. See if he wants to sniff Cyrus's blanket, but now he doesn't really want to. He's probably thinking this place is weird and how long do I have to stay in here? So I just have him touch my hand to touch something in there, and then we go out. So then he goes back into his stall, and that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.